Welcome to Ucanic. Today here on Ucanic we have a 2019 Chevy Trax. This has the 1.4 liter motor in it and we have our check engine light on. So we're going to go ahead and check out what that check engine light is telling us on the various sensors that are on our vehicle. We can check out what the sensor is telling us and then either replace the sensor or look to make sure that nothing else would be causing that to go bad. So we have the UCAN2 scanner here hooked up through our OBD2 port key on in the accessories position or all the way on but in the run position but not started. I'm going to go into diagnostic. We're going to pick the GM because this is a GM vehicle. Then we can do the smart VIN and then we hit yes because it's bringing up the right information. We're going to go into the control modules and engine control. You can scan the whole vehicle but we know that we're looking just for the control module. Pick the engine. This is an automatic transmission. We have the four-wheel drive. It's not equipped with the start-stop function. And now it's going and pulling up the information. And then we will check out what the uh, DTC is and then check that. So uh, this one is you know, picking up two but they could both be this well they're both basically saying the same sensor. P0106-00 or a P0107-00. One is the absolute the manifold absolute pressure sensor is performance is not working correctly as well as the manifold absolute pressure map sensor circuit the voltage is low so sometimes you may get this one to come on say your battery went dead and you changed out the battery or it had a glitch in in the uh the voltage that was going to it so that one might not be as big of an issue sometimes if you had just recently changed a battery but this man the sensor not performing um, so the symptom that we've had is with the engine light on um, when you're trying to give it the gas like the gas it has some hesitation and so we are going to go and check that sensor find out where that sensor is check the sensor and be uh, replace it to start with that and also you're going to visually look around the manifold to see if there are any open holes that is making the air not flow the way that the car is designed to recognize. We have the uh, the motor here, the 1.4 liter Ecotec, and so we have our exhaust is on the front side of the engine, our intake is on the back side of the engine after it goes through the intercooler and comes back through here. So it comes back through here and runs back here, and this is the sensor that we're looking at, which is our MAP sensor, or the MAP manifold pressure sensor. So we're going to definitely try to look and you can do it while it's running but uh, you look around and make sure you're not seeing any holes and especially that the, the hose pipe that comes in from the intercooler is definitely all hooked up to give you the, the proper airflow that the engine is is used to knowing definitely by the ECU. So we have this sensor to be able to replace it. We've got to pull this red tab clip forward and that way we can be able to squeeze the, um, the connector to undo it. And once that's undone, we can move that out of the way. And we need just a, uh, we need a Torx bit. So it's a T20. And now we'll be able to uh, just pull that out. And just pull straight out. And this is our our map sensor you'll just uh, get a new one and be able to place it in there line it up press it down 
put your T20 screw back in. Snug that up. And then make sure you reconnect the uh, connector here. Put the lock on, and then we will go clean or clear the codes. And then start the engine a few cycles, make sure it doesn't come back on immediately. And then also, you know, you'll drive your car for a week or two and make sure it doesn't come back on. And if it does, then there's more things you're gonna to need to look at or you're gonna look have to look at it deeper in what hose is maybe not connected, causing this to give you a bad reading. Okay, so we're, we're back here in the vehicle. We have our scanner. We're just gonna clear the codes or erase the codes. We're gonna hit yes, and saying that it was successful. You do make sure that your key is on in the on position, just not the, um, in the run position, not started. All right, now you can go ahead and start your vehicle and see that the uh, check engine light has um, cleared and gone off. And you'll, you know, you can turn it off, do a few more cycles to make sure it doesn't come on immediately. If it comes on immediately, well then you definitely know you have a big problem. Or then you'll just drive um, your car as you normally do for uh, a week or so and see if the light comes back on. If the light doesn't come back on, then it was definitely just maybe a bad sensor. Uh, if the light does come back on, well you know that the sensor should be good because you did just replace it. And then you would need to be looking what else is causing the issue? Why is the airflow that it's supposed to be reading isn't reading the right reading? Thanks for watching Eucanic, or you can be the mechanic.